We are going to lead the show with the guy who is truly the man we are all paying rent to in the sports world. And that is my longtime friend and compadre from NFL Network, Deion Sanders. 2-0 and beats TCU and then beats Nebraska in the second half like the proverbial rented mule. And on top of it, he is now the king of college football. To the point, Texas beat Alabama. And what are we talking about? Colorado and Colorado State. That's all you need to know about the prime effect. Colorado and Colorado State are playing each other on ESPN, 10 Eastern time, Saturday night. Bruce Feldman of Fox Sports was here yesterday saying, I'm going to Boulder as part of Big Noon Saturday on Fox. Wait, hold on a second. It's not on your air, and it's not at noon. (laughs) It's actually 10 o'clock at night, Eastern time, and it's on ESPN. Okay? Guess where first take's going tomorrow? Yep. Boulder, Boulder, Colorado, where the game isn't. Okay? Right? It's Colorado State. This game is going to be in Colorado. Hold on a second. Oh, I believe it's in Colorado State, if I'm not mistaken. It's in Colorado, my bad. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's in Boulder, but they're going to Boulder. On, on the Friday before Colorado and Colorado State. Guys, folks, I cannot tell you how significant this is. Colorado had one win. Colorado versus Colorado State is just ne- never on anybody's radar That's screen. Crazy. Like ever on yeah, anybody's ever. radar screen. <laughs> it is now. Not just because of Dion. But Colorado State, I bet you if you asked every diehard college football fan, every diehard college football fan, can you name the head coach of Colorado State? 99 out of 100 would say, no way. Let me Google it. Is his name Google? (laughs) His name is Jay Norvell. And guess what? Name Google. Guess what? Everybody knows his name now. Yeah. Did you know he's got a, a radio show or his own coach's show with a Zoom and everything? All college football head coaches do, and Colorado State is no slouch of a program. It really isn't. But in advance of this game, the coach of Colorado State had this to say about his opponent and its head coach. I sat down with the ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off, and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Is it over yet? Can I come out from under the desk? Oh, Just, no. Why would he do that? Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. Did he really just say that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. I understand. Trust me, I understand that Deion Sanders is not everybody's cup of tea. I get it. And I understand that folks see Dion and don't see behind the glasses that he wears to press conferences or on sidelines or in conversations. They don't see the human behind it and what makes him tick, and the fact that he puts those shades on for a reason. I believe part of it may be fashion. He thinks he looks good. And if you look good, you know you play good, and if you play good, they pay good. And those sunglasses he wears are money. Well. Must be the money. I don't believe he pays for them, I'd imagine. If I had a guess, he's, he's, that's why he and Del Tufo get along so well. <laughs> no, I'm saying they're all There like, you go, Mike. We, do. we get along really oh, well. Mike, look at you, Mike. Oh, Rocking the shades. We get along find really well. Find your camera, Mike. Dion wants you to find your camera. That's right one of them. Is there another one no, that we got it. on they, him? They moved this that's camera. it? Oh, they moved it? We moved yeah, this camera. They moved it. I didn't like the side angle. Okay. Yeah. He didn't like the shot. Which is another reason why Dion and you and Dion get along so always, well. Always know where the camera is. Always know where the camera is. Again. Wow. I have been around <laughs> this man for a long time. And I would be honest with you, as I always am. I do not know of a single time where I've ever seen him be disrespectful to another human being. Like, ever. Ever. 
be disrespectful to another human being. And I get it that Coach wants to, you know, show his guys, we're different here at Colorado State, and he might, you know, and I, I totally get it. He, he might be battling for kids within the state. I don't know. Hey, parents, if you think Dion is disrespectful, send him to Colorado State. We're here in this state, too. I, I get that he's he's got his own turf, he's got his own program, and he's got his own way of firing the kids up. And I'm sure he's probably deep down upset that he's the Washington Generals in this Harlem Globetrotter situation. Just the fodder, the cannon fodder for all of us to say they're 3-0, taking on Oregon next week in Oregon. At least I got that location right. So, I understand what he's saying. But man, I, I, I feel deep down. And this is unvarnished opinion, not biased at all. In my 27 plus years of doing this nationally, I feel this is a misstep. I get the feeling. <laughs> Expert this, analysis. Thank you. That's why you come here, right? Yeah, of course. I yeah. feel this is a misstep. <laughs> mm, you know, I feel uh, it's not going to work for him. It's not going to end well mm, nope. at all. Because again, it's not as if Dion if this is now officially personal, has not one but two children who could take it out on this other coach's team. Wait a minute. I'm being told he does have two children on the field. One on either side of the ball. Wait a minute. I'm being told one of the children who can actually exact this revenge for the father will have the football in his hands a lot. Wait a minute. (laughs) Hold on. I'm being told... That this child is a manly child, a man-child, who has missed on only 20 of his 89 attempts so far this season. We do the math, that's 77.5% completion percentage for 903 yards and six touchdowns. That's two games worth. That child. He's second in college football in passing Ah, (laughs) yards. That child will be taking the field on behalf of dad. And oh, yes, despite the whole concept of lack of respect being communicated by wearing shades and hats while talking to people, every player on Colorado feels like they're Dion's child and Dion is their dad. Some of them may be the only father figure they know and Dion always told me tells the story when he showed up to Florida State that it was the first time he'd ever seen a grown man shave that's the guy behind the shades that's what he's building through his message and what he's also doing is showing off swag, showing off style, showing off the fact that here in Colorado, we do it this way. And that way was just kind of slandered. Oh, my word. (laughs) Saturday night is all right for fighting. I just did an Elton John reference. Well done, well done Rich. Well, yeah. Way to skew younger. None. <laughs> well, you know, we did go all in on Taylor yeah, Swift titles yesterday. Titles we yesterday. Were Swifties and, you know, today's if, for if us. Oh, my a, God. If I you... can give another musical reference, uh, the great Slick Rick rapper, he had a yes. song once that he titled I Shouldn't Have Done It. And uh, I think that that could be hey. in reference to It's a shame to we got to wait all day not for, the, done. for this game on Saturday. Well, I mean, you're going to hear from Dion before then and um and then you'll hear from Dion Saturday night. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have done it. Is there a place in the desert that has a specific uh, penchant sure. for coming up with a number mm-hmm. that they feel is in the area of a margin of difference? Yeah. Okay. Friends. Is that a place that Mo Green once founded, and there's no plaque or no signpost to commemorate his founding of that city. Yep. 
What do they think right now? I just want to know right now. Right now? What that number is uh, compared to what it will be after the media chews up this soundbite like we just did. Uh, about right now, it's about uh, 23 and a half friends. Okay. Whew. What? By the way, that is the worst Ashton Kutcher, Charlie Sheen movie. No TV show ever. Two and a half, fr- 23, 23 and a half friends. 23 and a half friends. 23 and a half uh, It was a little too crowded on yeah. set. <laughs> That's a whole lot of people to get in a single camp. I would say get in now. Or actually, they didn't. He replaced Charlie, didn't he? Yeah, okay, he okay now I get it. Yeah. All right, so, sorry. Get in now. <laughs> get in now before that goes get, to like 27. Get in, get in now. Although it doesn't matter. They probably win by 40. Oh, my God. Only the Wearing Cowboys shades and hats. Yeah. Disrespectful. Uh, we treat people better. Get in now. Oh, my God. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 